in the land far away from the deathless gods, and mortal men. In the deepest caves of Arima, lived a half-maiden, half-snake creature, who preyed on unaware travelers. Echidna, the mother of all monsters. The she-viper, the half-nymph half-serpent. The one who was neither, like mortal men, nor the undying gods. Some say, Echidna was the daughter of Tartarus, and Gaia. Some say she was the daughter of the primordial sea god, Forces, and his consort, Seto, the goddess of the dangers of the deep. While others say, she was the daughter of the river goddess Styx. In appearance, Echidna was an irresistible, yet fearsome creature, with the beautiful upper body of a young maiden, and the lower body of a viper. She was half a nymph, with enchanting eyes, and fair cheeks, and half again, a huge snake, great, and awful. She was an ageless creature, who never grew old, all her days. Echidna consorted with a fellow monster, known as Typhon, the father of all monsters. And from the union of these two monsters, came nothing but monsters. The most famous of their children were, Cerberus, the three-headed hound, who guarded the gates of Hades, the Lernian Hydra, the many-headed serpent, that grew two heads if one was cut off, the Sphinx, a winged half-woman, half-lion creature, that guarded the road to Thebes, and the Chimera, a creature with the head of a lion, a goat's body, and a snake as its tail. Echidna would lie in wait, in her caves, for unwary passers-by, and animals. Whichever unfortunate victim, fell into her trap, she carried off, and fed upon. However, after the powerful Typhon was defeated, at the hands of Zeus, Echidna, soon met her own death. She was killed, while sleeping, by the hundred-eyed giant, Argus Panoptes, who was sent by Hera. In a different version though, Echidna remained alive, after the defeat of her husband, Typhon, and continued living in the caves of Arima, carrying off passers-by, 